Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this red truck sign that actually lights up. I made this using mostly Dollar Tree items, so if you want to see how I made this, just keep on watching. For this project, you're going to pick up any signs from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and went with this one that looks like a price tag and the word joy down here, it says separate section. So I'm going to go in with a flathead screwdriver and just yank that off. I'm sure you've seen this step in my previous videos, but in order to get this artwork off, I need some water and um, sandpaper or the sanding block. So first I'm going to go in with a brush and just basically soak the board with water and I'm going to go in with sandpaper or, or the sand block and it should come right off. Just keep keep going at it <laughs> it will come off but you can definitely skip this step if you're going to put felt later on like I did because what I did is I ended up covering it later on with felt anyway so I just realized I didn't need to do all this but if you're not going to put felt in the back then definitely you got to do this step or else you're going to have artwork on the back of the board but um yeah, you'll see what I mean here in a minute when I say felt because I did add felt later on to cover everything in the backing. So I'm going to take this um, ta the ribbon off and I'm going to go ahead and use white acrylic paint and paint the entire thing white. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. Now be sure to subscribe and click that bell because I have awesome and unique Christmas ideas for you. So be sure to click the bell so you're notified when I upload those videos. Now I'm going to go in with this rotary tool. Um, it's my little drill, my handy tool. It comes with so many um, pieces with it. I purchased this from Amazon. I could put the link down in the description for you and it comes with speeds as well. So this is a little handy tool for um, pretty much any drilling that I need to do or any cutting that I need to do. But now I'm going to go in with my pencil and those lights on the side there, by the way, I picked them up from Dollar Tree as well. So most of the things I'm using here are from Dollar Tree and for your convenience, I'll put the list to all the items I'm using for this video down in the description. But now I'm going to go in with a pencil and I'm going to make my marks because the lights that come from Dollar Tree, it comes with 20 lights. So I'm going to go ahead and make 20 dots around this board and try to have them evenly spaced as much as I can. And then I'm going to go in with the drill and drill down all the holes. And once I'm done with all of that, I'm going to go in with the red truck window decal. I picked it up from Walmart and it was only 98 cents. So I'm going to pick up a few of these. Um, I did end up using the red truck, the sign, the word uh, fresh cut and a few Christmas trees and the snowflakes. So I'm going to just place those where I want them. And then I'm not going to do any gluing yet. Just place everything down and then I'm going to go in with Mod Podge and then glue it all down.
Once I'm done gluing everything down, I'm going to go in with Mod Podge one more time and I want some snow under my truck. So I went ahead and um, applied some snow. Dollar Tree has snow as well, but I picked up this huge bag from Walmart. I think it was on clearance and I've had this forever. So I'm just going to go in with Mod Podge and sprinkle in the snow. When you're putting in the snow, just remember, do not rub it on there, just pat and then let it dry and you can always add a second coat. Apply more Mod Podge and more snow and again, pat and let it dry. And once that's dry, now it's time to add my lights. I'm going to bring my lights here and my glue gun. I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue and just stick one light bulb in each hole. And this is the black felt roll that I, I'm going to use later on in the video. I did pick it up from Dollar Tree as well. And I did add a little plaid ribbon in the corner right there. I just felt like it was missing something. So I just ended up adding that as well. And that's also from Dollar Tree. So now I'm going to go in with Gorilla Glue and I'm going to glue my rod onto the back of this. And um, the, the long rod, I ended up picking that up from Walmart. I think it was like... 96 cents i want to say so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply some gorilla glue but i did leave the center empty just like you see here for a little bit of hot glue because gorilla glue does take a while to seal and completely dry so that's why i put hot glue to keep it in place until the gorilla glue seals now technically you can leave your sign the way it is with the rod, but I wanted to cover the stick. So I ended up taking this pool noodle and cutting it according to size and going in with velvet ribbon that I have had for a while and making it look like a candy stick. So I'm going to start off at an angle and going in with my glue gun, I'm going to wrap the entire thing. And here is how it should look. Now I ended up gluing that on the stick, but first I went ahead and used the felt, put it all around to cover the lights and use my glue gun to glue it and then cut the extra pieces. And here's how it should look. The only thing I regret not doing is taking the lights through the pool noodle and onto the top because now you can see the wire. But I mean, it's fine, still looks great, I love it. But let me know what you think down in the comments. I definitely wanna hear from you. And by the way, here's my front door. It's terrible lighting, I was video, um, filming this at night i'm sorry but i'm trying to make this scene outside by my front door and yeah so i'm excited about this i'll be definitely adding more to this but if you missed out on that dollar tree bench and that snowman you definitely have to check out those videos but i will be adding more to this and showing you what i add as i go and by the way that bottom part is just foam board two foam boards taped together and just the snow blanket on top and by the way, I just have it in a bucket in a floral foam down there and um, and yeah, so it's just in a bucket for now, but it's because I'm going to have it by my front door. But if you rather put this in your yard, you can definitely just use a dowel stick and just put it in the ground. But yeah, so let me know down in the comments what you think and here's how it looks with the light off. And I definitely love the way it turned out. You can take this idea and with any sign basically you can do this so let me know in the comments what, what you think and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun diys and be sure to share with your friends thank you all for watching stay safe and i'll see you all next time bye